All right, big news here. No relief for Kejriwal from the top court. Supreme Court to hear Arvind Kejriwal, uh, his plea there against arrest after the 29th of April. So it seems like the case itself, the plea itself will now be heard only on the 29th of April. So that's another good 15 days or 14 days that Arvind Kejriwal will have to wait for the top court to take up the hearing. This is a setback undoubtedly for Arvind Kejriwal who's not sought relief. So far from lower courts, he's approached the top court now. The Supreme Court that was supposed to hear the matter today seemed to have pushed it to after April 29th. So for the moment, we know Arvind K. Jival gets no relief. There is no uh, interim relief for him at the moment. He was really hoping that the Supreme Court would hear his urgent plea against arrest, calling it illegal. Arvind K. Jival has said that the arrest protocols itself wasn't in line with law. It's illegal on several grounds that his counsel has argued. It has failed to uh, bring any yield for K. Jival in the lower courts. At this point, their only last hope is the Supreme Court. And that Supreme Court was supposed to be taking up the plea today. We hear it's now been pushed to the 29th of April. A big setback, surely. So this only means that Arvind K. Jival at the point, at this point, will not be participating in the Lok Sabha election campaign's first phase. Let me cut across to our correspondent, Kanu Sharda, joining us on the phone line. Kanu, go on, please give us more details. Uh, Supreme Court was supposed to take up the matter today, but it appears that uh, yet another 14 days wait. Supreme Court to, will be hearing this plea only on the 29th of April. Yes, Nabila, the Supreme Court has just issued notice to the Enforcement Directorate on Arvind Kejriwal's plea challenging his arrest and remand order as uh, the Delhi High Court had rejected uh, his petition uh, challenging the same. Now the Supreme Court has categorically said that they will uh, hear the matter from the week commencing April 29th. Uh, though uh, Senior Advocate Abhishek Manu Singh, who was appearing for Arvind Kejriwal, has categorically pleaded uh, before the court that he needs some... Uh, uh, he, he seems... He needs some immediate relief for the campaigning, which is scheduled to start from April 19th, and he needs to campaign. But the court said that, uh, you know, without receiving any formal reply by the ED, they cannot uh, do so, and the formal uh, reply needs to be filed by the Enforcement Directorate over Arun Kejriwal's plea. The notice has been accepted by the Enforcement Directorate lawyer who was present in the court, and the matter will now be heard only in, on April, uh, week commencing April 29th. So more days, uh, uh, Karvin Kejriwal has to wait for more, few more days before any kind of relief comes from the Supreme Court. All right, now give us a little sense of the urgent plea, uh, the details of which that he's uh, presented in court. He's said that this arrest itself is illegal, be it the lower court or the Delhi High Court for that matter, have come down heavily saying that this, uh, this arrest itself is certainly legal and that he, uh, he'll have to fight his way through. This is a legal process. Investigation will go on with him being in custody and there's nothing illegal about it. While the Delhi court observed that, uh, he and his counsel had only hope with the Supreme Court. So give us the final details of what was there in that plea filed before the Supreme Court. Uh, well, yes, Navila, this was also argued today very briefly by, the, uh, by Abhishek Manu Singh. We also... He said that the statements given by the uh, uh, accused turn approval are not reliable. But the bench was not in a mood to hear any kind of uh, the, the arguments put on by Abhishek Manu Singhvi and said that you should keep your arguments for some other day. And that is why only a issue, uh, notice was issued. But as far as the but as far as the other plea is concerned, as far as the Kejriwal's main plea is concerned, what are the charges? Because he has challenged the, all the Delhi High Court observations which were given against him over the Delhi excise policy wherein, he, uh, wherein the Delhi High Court observed that there was a Hawala transaction link as alleged by the ED and it needs to be probed further as to what, what kind of uh, investigation that ED probe will come forward. So he has challenged uh, the also the ground that you know he, since elections are around the corner and that is why you know he, he since he is an up up convener that is why the political party has been uh, has been witch hunted. So these are all kind of uh, legal points which are you know which are being dealt by the Delhi High Court while dismissing Arvind Kejriwal's plea have been you know filed uh, as per challenge in the Supreme Court also. But the Supreme Court has for now has said that they they are going to entertain or reply to uh, or do any kind of relief in this case only after a formal reply by the Enforcement Directorate is received by the Supreme Court. 
so uh, so we'll get, get to know only after uh, in, in last week of april as to what ed response on to arvind kejriwal plea will come and whether any kind of relief uh, uh, will be given by the supreme court or not so the, what what this really means is that arvind kejriwal is likely to be out of action he is not going to be out of prison until the 29th of april when that next hearing happens and if the supreme court grants him relief so for the moment he is likely to stay in prison as the ed case continues on the delhi liquor policy case i'm going to cut across to nalni also joining us tracking court for us for more uh, insights on this with kejriwal not getting relief nalni at this point does it can we say safely that he is going to be absent from all campaigning for the first phase of lok sabha elections that happens on the 19th of april it's unlikely that arvind kejriwal will be seen in action he will not be released from prison well nabila there are a lot of fast paced developments that have happened in this case since the time that arvind kejriwal has been arrested so even though for now the supreme court has not allowed any kind of relief for him his lawyers had specifically pushed for some relief to allow him to campaign for the elections but no order on that has been issued by the supreme court just as yet the hearing has been kept for the last week of april so it remains to be seen as to whether or not his lawyers strategize some other legal move between now and the last week of april to try and ensure that he in fact is able to campaign for the elections because remember his uh, former deputy manish sodia has also specifically asked for interim bail to be allowed to campaign for these elections so a similar strategy might be followed by him but all of that is speculation at this point today the supreme court has only issued notice to the enforcement directorate they've asked them to respond by the last week of april which is when arguments on this case will be heard but one very important thing that was stated by abhishek manu singh we right at the outset when the matter was taken up is that there are some very selective leaks that are happening in this case of course abhishek manu singh we is essentially hitting out at the enforcement directorate and the kind of information that enforcement directorate through its sources is sharing with the media related to the probe that is ongoing in the excise policy case and uh, today abhishek manu singh we has raked this up raked this issue up even before the supreme court he's gone ahead and said that he wants to state something that will shock the conscience of the court and about how there are selective leaks that are happening in this matter so it remains to be seen whether or not kejriwal's legal team will uh, argue on this in detail in the last week of april when the matter comes up also as to whether or not they will try and approach the entire issue of him coming out of jail to campaign for the 2024 elections through some other strategy maybe by applying for bail because kejriwal has still not applied for bail so a lot of developments can be expected just because there's no relief coming in today we cannot say for certain that kejriwal will not be able to come out because like i told you earlier there's a lot of strategy that is going on behind the scenes between his legal team and it remains to be seen what they come up with to try and ensure that he can come out and campaign for the lok sabha polls